Hi there. In this video, we're going to go through the Terraforming Mars Big Box promo corporations. So there was a couple different corporations that got released uh, recently through the, the Big Box promo. It was a Kickstarter. Anyways, we're going to look at the corporations from there. I kind of forgot about these earlier. Uh, thank you to those who pointed it out. Uh, these should be the last two official ones, I believe, um, that still exist. There's some other ones that kind of got replaced by other things in the past, so I'm not going to do them. Maybe I'll do all the different BGG contest ones that didn't quite make uh, the final contest for those final three. Or maybe I'll do the moon ones from the Terraforming Mars community-based uh, corporations. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'm planning to do that tournament next. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, these are the two corporations here. All right, first up we have Astro Drill. Astro Drill, you start with 35 ME and 3 Asteroid Resources. As an action, you can add an Asteroid Resource to any card, or gain any standard resource, or remove an Asteroid Resource from this card to gain 3 Titanium. And it's a space tag. What's helpful internally for this corporation has an interesting ability. Being able to add Asteroids onto other things can be good, uh, especially if you can get the, uh, the one card that gives you one victory point per Asteroid on this card. Uh, what's harmful internally, though, it has low innate strategy. Basically only works with other Asteroid cards when you're using it to the best of its ability. Sure, getting Titanium's nice, but $9 and then you, you basically have to have other Asteroid cards to add on to this one in order to use that Titanium ability after the first three turns anyway. It's tricky. What's helpful externally, though, is that you can again get those Asteroid cards. There's a good number of them once you play with all the promo cards and all the expansions and such. Um... There's not a ton, but people usually don't play them unless they have a few of them and they can synergize with them. So you want them in your opening hand, obviously. You're starting 10. What's harmful externally is if you're not seeing any and people are hate drafting them, you can be in a very difficult spot because your ability becomes far less useful. Some combos uh, that you want to do strategy-wise, I find, for this corporation is, you know, combo with other Asteroid cards. The Asteroid Deflection System is probably the best, simply because it's a guaranteed victory point at the end of the game for every single one, and you can get a lot if you have a lot of Asteroid cards. Some fun combos you can do are repeat actions. So like Project Inspection is a fun one to be able to, you know, use this over and over again. Player count is kind of neutral. Um, not really much either way. You want to see the more cards, but then again, it's it's still a tricky spot to be in. My overall ranking for this one's a D. I don't think it's a very strong corporation, simply because you don't start with a whole lot. And then if you don't get the good Asteroid cards that kind of go with this, then you're even in a worse spot, and it's just not a good spot to be in. This could be worse than a D. All right, next up we have Pharmacy Union. So Pharmacy Union, you start with 54 ME, and you draw a Science card. Its effect is when any micro tag is played, and a disease here, and lose 4 ME, or as much as possible. When you play a science tag, remove a disease here and gain one TR. Or if there are no diseases here, you may place this card face down in your events pile to gain three TR. And it's two microbe tags. What's helpful internally for this corporation is, you know, getting TR is good. Um, that's never a bad situation. And paying $4 for one is usually pretty good. That's a very good return on your investment, typically. Harmful internally, though, is that you don't want to be stuck losing money. If people really spam microbes against you... Um, and then steal your money. Not, I guess it's not stealing, it's taking the money away from you because they're not getting it. But anyways, I digress. You don't want to be stuck losing lots and lots of money at the beginning of the game. What's helpful externally, though, is that you can get a lot of science tags. There's lots on the deck. Um, what's also helpful externally is that you have $54 that you can pay off what everyone else is going to be doing to you through the micro tags. And what's harmful externally is, again, that any micro tag. So anybody can use this against you, especially at inopportune times. My strategy for this corporation is hoard science cards, try and get as many as you can. Try and, you know, use your ability to the highest of its effectiveness. Some fun combos that you might want to do with this is uh, remove microbes. So you might want to just even control the micro game by taking it off with ants. This is usually isn't the best um, in terms of, like, you know, getting your TR. You want to use your a corporation's ability the best. But the problem is, is that if you have too many on there and you're just not not keeping up with it, you want to also aim to get the 3TR on the very last turn, so flipping the card over. That's, I think, a, an important one because it's, again, a, a great return on investment. Player count, I find, you know, less is more. You don't want to have 
as many people spamming microbes you want to kind of control that and if you can do that very well i think you can do really well with this corporation simply because um tr is also money production it's it's a good spot to be in my overall ranking for this one's a b i think this one's kind of difficult to pin down i guess i haven't seen it played well enough but it's again controlling that micro game getting as much tr out of your corporation as you can while making sure that you still have enough money to do things and still have an engine to do things as well so it's kind of a cool one Okay, thanks for watching. So that was my video on the Terraforming Mars Big Box promo corporations. Uh, if you have any suggestions as to which ones I should look at next, uh, maybe some fan-made ones, maybe some uh, BGG contest uh, ones that didn't win, uh, let me know, uh, and I'll, maybe I'll take a look at them. What I'm hoping to do next is, again, that bracket uh, corporation showdown March Madness. I think it'll be fun. It's a little bit random, a little bit chaotic, but you know what? It'll be a fun experience along the way. Stay tuned, uh, leave a like, a comment if you think I got something wrong, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.